thank you gautam uh, i thank uh, shri navin mittal ji for uh, hosting this wonderful global event presence of uh, my dear sister meena hayden vice consul from islamic uh, republic of iran makes it really global thank you very much sister for being here uh, professor uh, limbatri garu my elder brother in education a learned man from whom uh, we look forward to listen to and also look for reforms in the sector of education in telangana and uh, dr sundar balakrishna working on uh, skills and the skill development and with the background in electronic uh, electronics in the department of uh, from the government of andhra pradesh uh, deepthi ji uh, and friends who are from various uh, universities in the state and outside the state the honorable vice chancellors of various universities who are here the educational leaders Uh, it's a privilege to uh, interact with you learn from you and i take this as a learning opportunity keenly uh, interested in learning more from you we had earlier uh, text based education text based education experience of some time back put in a text form some time back is read right now so from text based education we have gone to context based education where context is right now it's happening right now that's what we call as experiential learning or experiential education whatever is happening right now we learn from it right now so if you want to learn right now from right now then we need to be out there so from the captivity based education of a school classroom or a college classroom we go into a community based education of going into the community learning from the community looking for the challenges which are there in the community addressing the challenges in the community problem solving as it is mentioned so that we are getting ready and also ready for right now for the for handling the challenges that we have in front of us so friends uh, we had uh, started our we have started our journey on education with rights based approach student has a right to education children have a right to education uniform uh, right and every universal right of the children to access to education that's how we started from rights based education eventually we went into duties based education where it is the duty of the teacher to teach duty of the educational establishment to give education duty of the system to reach everybody reach the last mile give the last mile connectivity from there we have shifted and we are now shifting slowly towards responsibility based education when we are looking at a responsibility based education it is the responsibility of the student responsibility of the faculty responsibility of the school or college management responsibility of the state and responsibility of the community everybody has a responsibility towards education that's the shift that we are getting into it's tough shift it is tough shift because responsibility is not what is expected from you what you take onus on what you think is your role and what you think is the area on which you need to work on so it's a tough thing so during the covid time thank you sir during the covid time when the total education system and total system was more or less closed how do we get into community engagement was something which we were trying to look at from mahatma gandhi national council of rural education we got into talking to one college after the other college we roped in more than 1273 colleges across the country into getting them engaged with their neighborhood community on handling the covid menace handling the hospitals beds patients requirements for the patients handling of the people who are on home quarantine handling of the logistics for the people who are in home quarantine and then getting doctors support 
getting a psychosocial support for the students, teachers and communities across the country. Wonderful participation from higher educational institutions in this country. They have not given up. They have taken on the owners. They have given their sweat and blood for this country when it was required. We're very happy to uh, share that point. So friends, uh, when we are looking at a context-based education, we are looking at a continuous change-based education. Difficult for the curriculum people to keep changing every day. Ek bar banaliya community current curriculum, fir wo, fir change karna, fir conference karna, fir meeting karna, fir logon ko jama karna, fir kitab banana, fir text ko change karna, bhot bada kaam hai. So it's a tough thing. But then now we are in a situation where the earlier courses, earlier course methodology, earlier program methodology itself is changing with the National Education Policy 2020, where you can quit the course at five year, at one year, two years, three year. Your program can be one year program, two year program, three year program. Pata nahi teacher ko bacha kitna din rahega uska classroom mein. Jab tak hai usko pakad lo, jitna bhi sikhate utna sikhado, usko chhod do. And if he finds the college interesting. He will come back to the college. If he finds the college relevant, he will come back to the college. If he finds the chief field more engaging and challenging, he will go back to the field, engage himself with the field. And if he finds his college teacher has more to offer for him, he will come back from the field to the classroom. Very, very difficult for the static or more or less static systems of education to handle this type of dynamics. I always, when I'm talking to school teachers, school system, I share with this point, this point that when I was born in 1965, of course that is the year when my, when my mother joined the school as a teacher. So that day, the, that year, the schools were reopening on the 12th of June and they were closing on 23rd of April. That continues to be the same after 56 years. So that is the static nature of the curriculum transaction system the calendar, academic calendar system. With that academic calendar system being, you know, you are trying to pick, prick, you are trying to mend, you are trying to change it. It's very difficult. But then all of us are in transition. So the point which came up in the morning with which I close is that happiness. How do we get happiness in this all, oh, this travail, this struggle to learn, to teach, to, to be abreast, to be latest, to get into the world, how do we get into this world with happiness as the most important point? Unless we are communicating, unless we are learning from our peers, unless we are connected with the community, unless the community comes to the classroom. When uh, Navin Mitalji was sharing that the teachers went into the community, got the students into the classroom, that is community engagement. So you are looking for, you are thinking till then, till now you are thinking that students anyway will come, agar wo aya nahi aya, pata nahi kya ho, kuch bhi, kuch bhi ho, lekin mera tankha guarantee hai, minaukri guarantee hai. From that situation, the government's teacher going into the village, going into the community and asking them, telling that this is what we are going to offer to you, this is what we are going to give you, and you are going to get benefit from that. So and the community accepting that, community recognizing this, this service, and community feeling that yes, they are, their confidence that the education system is there to meet their needs and give the confidence that they require to handle the next century or next millennium. So that is a, that is a real uh, success. I would congratulate the faculty members of uh, various colleges in, uh, under the Commissionate of Collegiate Education and Technical Education in Telangana for going out, reaching the community and getting them in. Pahli baar inho ne bhi community ko experience kiya hai. Jab o log field mein gaye, gaye students ke families ke saath mile, then they understood their aspirations. Now they are ready to change. They are ready to change their curriculum. They are ready to introduce new topics. Now they know that the language is important. Now they know that soft skills are important. So, so many things. It's a learning experience for the faculty when they go into the community, not only the students. That learning experience was possible with the fantastic leadership that the state uh, higher education 
council is providing and state uh, commissionate of collegiate education is providing. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity. I would love to learn more from you all. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you.